And the old hag, who was she? The old hag, my clever captain, was that cursed Englishman, the Scarlet Pimpernel. We must mask our identities. Suffer the humiliation of being taken for fops, fools, nitwits, cowards. All we ask in return is that you merely get in touch with your many friends and soon you will be able to tell us who is the man known as the Scarlet Pimpernel. Do you think Andrew Fuchs might be the Scarlet Pimpernel? He's known by the title of the Scarlet Pimpernel. Who is he? Oh, that's the mystery. The moment I catch the Scarlet Pimpernel. Sound, is that name again? I've heard nothing else all day. At the club, the fight, and now here. I protest, fellow, the public nuisance. They seek him here. They seek him there. Those Frenchies seek him everywhere. Why, you're the most courted woman in town. By whom? By everybody. Except you. Jimmy, my dear, I, I'm your husband. Oh, come now, it's, it's not too bad. You see, Sir Percy, His Royal Highness approved. My poor treat, His Royal Highness does nothing of the kind. He says it's not so bad. And nothing in the world is so bad as something which is not so bad. Sink me, what a mess. Now, if you'd really like to know how to tie a cravat, I'll tell you. But it isn't easy, mind you. It takes all my brain. Former Count and Countess de Lani. The former Madame de Nijon. The former Count de Terry. The former Marquis de Jouvence and family. It's no joke. Believe me. Dangerous game falling in love with a phantom, my dear. Is the game up, Sir Percy? Is this the last adventure? Always so impulsive, my dear Monsieur Chauvelin. This, sir, uh, is my firing squad. Allow me to present Fuchs, Dewhurst, Hastings, Belleville, and the rest. But of course you know all about them. <laughs>